This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Next up, though, something a little different. Lance Storm and the cat. Maybe this was a little overbooked here. The gimmick is that Jim Duggan wants to be a face, but Lance Storm tells him the only reason he still has a job is because of the Team Canada gimmick, and when he leaves, he'll be unemployed. Um, so this is all directly from the observer. He did not like it. He gave it a star in three quarters. Uh, ultimately Lance is going to get the win by submission and Meltzer would point out cat actually tapped before storm even got the hold on to make things more confusing storm and Elix skipper attacked Duggan after the match, but guess who made the save the cat, uh, pretty remarkable that we've got two great performers like Lance storm and Ernest, the cat Miller. Cause Ernest had charisma out the wazoo. I don't think Lance storm ever had a bad match, but this one, and maybe it's the placement on the card. How do you follow what we just saw? Uh, so they tried to double down on story and the story just didn't work for me. What'd you think watching it back for the first time in 20 years? Well, I think it was a mistake. Shaving hacksaw Duggan's beard off. Sure. Which happened obviously during this period. Uh, Jim Duggan is the classic example of it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Yeah. Oh, yay. Still will get the biggest pop in the room. He could, you could send him through the curtain for any company and they love Jim Duggan. Yeah. They always has what you see. It's what you get. Legitimate tough guy, but more so than that, smiling his way all the way through the, uh, the match, whatever the situation is and he brings that kid participation into every match that he's in and people they've got comfortable with him they just like him and and when you try to you know in any way change that character you've made a mistake Ernest Miller with the red dancing shoes was one of my favorite parts yeah. of every day it was Absolutely awesome. And I tell him when I bump into him, some of these appearances, man, I used to love your gimmick and I did. It was great. I think in this era, my two favorites, uh, as far as, uh, sort of let me up segments, if you will, were Norman smiley with the big wiggle and, and the cat just cutting a promo and dancing as silly as it sounds in, in the context of a wrestling show, it really worked for me. I liked it. Yeah. And, and Hey, on the other side of the thing. Lance storm is a tremendous performer. Yes, sir. Dry is the desert and that's why it works. Yes. He's so polished. Everything he does is explosive. His knowledge of, you know, in the ring is psychology is great. And then he opens his mouth and it's just dry. Dean Malenko dry. But if you sit there and really listen, it's awesome. And, and Lance, you know, being in that mix, he just, uh, he was just one of those guys that, that you hear all this loud commotion going on and you screaming here and all these things going on. And then you hand the Lance and it's, can I get serious for a moment? Do you think Pop me every, every time do you think Lance was born 10 years too soon? I think Lance would have been a much bigger star today than he was back then. He would have, his talents would have been appreciated more, I think. Yeah. Because it would have been in an era when your work rate was, you know, the first thing mm -hmm. most people judge you. Then they said, well, can he talk? That would be the second thing. Then if he had a great body and he had passed the other two tests, he's on his way to being a superstar. Yeah, I, I just think he would have been a much bigger star today. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.